We have a huge giveaway in the middle of this video. We're gonna be giving away a ton of stuff. A lot of you guys might not know, I've literally dedicated almost half my life to kicking their bass. Like I've put every ounce of everything into this. I've dropped everything for this. We got all types of different little swim baits in here. This goes back years when I decided to open the old kicking their bass baits. Look at the freaking uh, chrome that scratched off on that thing. Everybody that says I only fish ponds, that's for you guys. 50 lake maps. Everybody judged my career off of three months of fishing because I don't own a boat at this moment. Or I do, it might be in that garage behind me. It's about to come soon. Yo, what's poppin' folks? Welcome to another video. This is the video you guys have been asking for for a while. So we're doing something different today and we're gonna be going through a lot of the tackle I have here in Atlanta. This isn't all the tackle I own, but this is a lot of tackle I have and there's a lot of stories behind it and why I have this much tackle. So. We're gonna be jumping into it today. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Smash that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. I am gonna be throwing a giveaway in here because you'll probably see why in a minute. But also smash that like button. Let's hop into it. So as a lot of you guys might know or might not know, I've been doing YouTube for coming up. I've been making fishing videos for eight years. I've been running Kicking Their Bass TV channel for seven years. I made a lot of content, guys. And a lot of people comment, they're like, Noah, all you do is bank fish. Noah, all you do is that. Funny part is, the people that comment that probably just found me this year. And for the first five to six years of my channel, all I did was boat videos. That's all I did. I'm actually a tournament fisherman. And you guys are going to find out why in a moment. So uh, let's go ahead and hop into this video. So we're going to be going over the tackle. If you guys like these types of videos, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. As you guys can tell behind me, we got a lot of tackle right there. And let's go ahead and whip some of it out. We even got some more right here. And uh, let's see what I got. So for you guys that don't know, like I said, I'm a hardcore tournament angler. That's that's what I've done the last 10 years. Um, I haven't pond fished until this last year, to be completely honest with you guys. And uh, therefore, with me fishing a lot of tournaments, I'm traveling to a bunch of lakes. I'm fishing all different types of trails, all the way from high school, all the way up to college, and a ton of local tournaments around. Even traveling up, you guys saw a tournament with one rod where we ended up winning the tournament. That was recently. And uh, with that being said, we got a lot of tackle right there. I mean, as you guys can tell, it, it looks ridiculous. It really does. If I had to guess, guys, this is probably around 20 grand worth of tackle. I, I'm, I'm saying that, but I really do think this is about 20 grand worth of tackle. Like I said, I have a bunch of tackle in other places, and especially my truck. It's, it's a tackle truck, pretty much. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, with that being said, I fished a lot of tournaments growing up the last 10 years, and um, pretty much every single time you go to a different fishery, whether it's spotted bass, smallmouth, whether you're up north, whether you're down south, whether you're fishing a river system, whatever it is, you're gonna have to stock up on some new tackle. Even when you go out to the lake, say you're pre-fishing for a tournament and you're just not catching them on what you have. So then you drive over to the local tackle shop and then you get the baits that you need for the next day. You end up trying them out, you catch them on it. And then you're like, okay, it's tournament day. Oh, we only have two of these traps. So I'm gonna go buy five more. And that is pretty much how all this tackle has built up over the time. So a funny story, when I was hopping in the fishing, me and my dad were going out to Lake Lanier. That's originally where I'm from and that's where I'm at right now. And we were we were new to fishing. This is like 10 years ago. That was nice. So we were new to fishing. You know, we didn't really know much about it. You know, we would go to the little old tackle shops and everything, ask the people, you know, what's going on? We'd go out on the lake, we'd try a bunch of different things. And there was this one tackle shop in particular, it was next to a gas station. It wasn't like a Bass Pro, it wasn't like a mainstream tackle shop. It was more like a mom and pop store that's connected to a gas station. With that being said, they had a ton of tackle in there and they were actually selling the whole place. The fact that they were selling it, they were trying to get everything, everything out of the whole shop. So there was like jerk baits and crank baits that were like $15. They were selling it for like a buck. So like thinking through my head, you know, let's just buy like a majority of this stuff. And that's where a lot of this tackles came from. Like I was getting packs of stuff, literally like, like $20 baits for a couple dollars. We're getting packs of worms that were usually five, six dollars a pop. We're getting them for a quarter. So like when you're thinking about that, I'm, I'm not like gonna stop fishing anytime soon. So we bought a lot of tackle and that's where a lot of this comes from. But anyways, if you guys are wondering what's right here, there's a bunch of soft plastics. Oh boy. We got a big tub right here, guys. There's hundreds of plastic bags of soft plastics in here. As you guys can tell, look at this. I mean, look at this. And these are over the years of traveling to a bunch of different lakes, fishing other tournaments. These are fluke style baits right here. These are all organized, by the way. Fluke style baits, swim bait style baits. Let's go ahead and pull out a few. 
kind of see what I got in here. As you guys can tell, these are like all little tiny paddle sails that you can put on the back of a chatter donk. There's like a legit soft plastic swim bait right there, five and a half inch. Um, what else we got? Got some little power bait ones. These are probably some swim baits that we got very cheap when that tackle shop was closing down. I mean, as you guys can tell, just a big wide variety all different brands we have sitting around. So what I would do is when I'm traveling to a new lake, new fishery, depending on the conditions that the week was gonna have, or you know the water clarity, whatever it was gonna be, whether it's a river system, whether it's a lake, um, I would pick out the certain colors, I would build specific boxes for the tournaments and what I needed. So say I was gonna be throwing, you know, white chatterbaits that day. You know, I'd come into the swim bait box and I would pick out some white paddle tail swim baits and I'd put those in the box. And maybe, you know, this profile <clears throat> is a little small and I want something a little bit bigger. Then I dig in here and I find like a bigger swim bait to put on the back of it. That's kind of how that went. So flukes, swim baits, let's keep looking. Right here, this, you guys are probably asking, no, what the heck is this? And I forget the exact name of it. The spooling buddy, that's exactly what it's called. So this right here is perfect for traveling while I was fishing a lot of tournaments and I had all my line on here. You know, everything between some eight pound all the way up to 20, 20 pound fluorocarbon. Had some 65 pound braid, some monofilament as well. Just about everything. You can load all the spools on the edge of this and this is perfect. It's got a little carrying thing. Just throw this thing in the back of your truck when you're on a tournament night before. You just spool up a reel real quick and you have everything you need. Moving on to another salt plate. Guys, let me tell you, these things right here, ooh, 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 they heavy. They might not look heavy, but they pretty heavy. This is about all the crawls and creature baits you will ever need for the rest of your life probably to go fishing with. You got all different colors, all different sizes, all different brands. So guys, we got some brush hogs right here. That's like simple creature bait. Got some crawl trailers. Got some beavers right here. Like I said, all different styles. Got some lizards. So these are all creature baits, all crawl trailers. Literally a whole freaking bag of them. Yeah, that is that is just crazy. It's still crazy for me to think about how much tackle that I've came up with. People talk about how baseball and football and all these sports are expensive. Fishing, like especially for you guys that are getting into fishing, is probably the most expensive sport out there. And I'm, I'm just saying that hands down, especially if you're gonna get in tournaments, fishing a ton of different fisheries and learning more about fishing. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with all this tackle, but I will kind of pop this one open real quick. Let's just take a little quick peep. All right, this one right here, Sankos, Trick Worms. These are gonna be perfect for like a shaky head, a drop shot, really anything I need. You know, that's a watermelon red right there. This is an avocado. They don't even make that color anymore, but it catches them. Um, you got June Bug right here, and you got some June Bug drop shot worms. Everything you really need for finesse fishing when it comes down the line when the fish are really not wanting to bite very well that day and all the colors you need for the different types of water clarities. Let's open this box. This is this is where we get interesting people. This is where we get in a wide variety. I'm pretty sure this is like a crankbait box for the most part. Um, let's go ahead and look through here. We got some medium divers. I'm just gonna show you guys this really quick. As you guys can tell, a bunch of shad patterns. Perfect for this time of year. Bass are pushing the bait, shallow in the pockets, feeding on shad, feeding on herring. These colors right here, just the regular shad patterns. You have some curl dad colors as well, but just basic. Basic little like KBD cranks. These are the ones I've just had over the years. And uh, right here in a little box. Oh, this is something you guys are gonna wanna, I'm not gonna show you guys everything, but there's like some boxes I'm like, yeah, you guys are gonna wanna see. Look at this. We got all types of different little swim baits in here and some wake baits as well. This is this is actually a top water lure. Oh, how about got a hook in me? Look at that. What you guys think about that? That is not a jerk bait. I know it looks like a jerk bait. It's actually a wake bait. People on the near catch giant 50, 40, 50, 35, 40, 50 pound stripers on this at a certain time of year. And they just, oh, they crank them on that thing. Got some big swim baits, as you guys can tell, like a big bull shad right there. Um, so this one, mainly just, you know, some swim baits, some of mine that I own and, and also some wake baits and stuff of that sort. Right here, this one's really neat as well. Like I said, I don't wanna show you guys everything, but this is something really cool. These baits right here, are all made out of balsa and cedar. Nice. These are all cedar crankbaits. These are all wood. If you guys don't know what that is, I'm pretty sure you know what that is, but that's cedar. It's made out of cedar. It's got a slick little paint job. It's like a little chartreuse shad. Um, this one right here, you can actually tell the wood. You see that right there? 
that's just a regular wood wooden crankbait with a gloss finish on top and that's how all these are this is a box that have special for those this one right here is actually a custom paint job that one of the guys the local used the paint on a bunch of baits you hand them some of the baits that you have and they went out and painted those and uh yeah that whole box right there all cedar lures that's that's there comes a time for all that crankbaits crankbaits more crankbaits more crankbaits and more crankbaits i don't think i want to go through this one anymore so boys moving on to this section this one is going to get wild as you guys can tell a ton of different boxes these are going to be the boxes that i specifically throw into my boat compartments we actually have two more big tubs down here that i'm just gonna take out i think this one is all right i'm gonna just show you the bottom all drop shot worms more drop shot worms on the bottom we ain't even gonna get into that yo this one right here i think this is swim baits what is this crawls crawls and more worms as you guys can tell on that side whole another big box of soft plastic now let's get to the juicy stuff guys there's a ton of a variety of stuff right here i'm not even going to go into all of it but we got a whole box of swim bait heads this is really show you how much just bull crap of tackle I've, I've just got over the years and um a lot of this i will have to say was from some amazing sponsors i've been working with companies the last six seven years and um you know a lot of this stuff i was very blessed to get at for free or either at a discount but um that's a bunch of different swim bait heads in there look at that all different sizes all different colors all different brands got some fish heads right there everything you just about need this box right here we got a ton of different hooks in here this is like one of the things where we got from the tackle shop like i said paying pennies for this type of stuff if you're not using it we might as well get it and sell it and make a profit at the end of the day but that's a whole box of like trailer hooks trebles to change out on your top water some ewgs and a bunch of different top water box these are actually all poppers in specific as you guys can tell you talk about a big worm you guys talk about a big worm right there you think i catch a big bass some of those ledge lakes we're taking a big worm like that you go out there you, you hook you a big old six seven pound large mouth out there on something like that hair jigs jerk baits an older box filled with rattle traps and jerk baits older box filled with crank bait punching stuff in here punching skirts punching weights right there in the corner buzz bait box right here and then we also have a spinner bait box i have another spinner bait box at my house keeps the buzz baits and spinner baits all organized in there another smaller buzz bait box this is probably one of my favorite boxes of all time especially with me growing up on lake lanier and fishing out there all the time this box has a bunch of different walking baits a bunch of different top waters you got some sammies um a sammy's one of my favorite top waters of all time you got a gunfish right here um what else we got a big old spook let me show you the markings on this thing this will show you how many fish i've caught on this bad boy look at the freaking uh chrome that scratched off on that thing you understand how many big spots i've caught on that if you guys are wondering i got all these videos online if you guys want to go back in my older videos and uh and see i've been filming this many years man but this box goes back a while i used to use this thing a lot when catching these big spots guys, i'm just going to show you one more box right here and then i'm going to hop into something that i think is really neat it goes back in history man I think it's something you guys would like to see. This is a swim bait box. As you guys can tell, we got some bull shads. We got some Sibyls, um, custom painted Sibyl right there. Those big spots, we'll munch that up. As you guys can tell, the hooks are off that one. Um, this right here, big depths. What's that thing? Cool little swim baits. This is like the Boyd Ducket Series bull shad. This is the standard bull shad. I'd recommend going with the standard one if you guys are curious about that. But these Sibyls right here, I've caught so many big fish on that in the past years. Um, but this is a cool little box to show you guys, but we're about to hop over to something pretty neat I don't want to go through all this tackle guys. I'm gonna be honest with you like you guys can see it, but I just don't want to bore you like Matter of fact, hold on one more box. We got some 8xds in here and some 10xds some big boy crankbaits, man Look at that big boy crankbaits. That's perfect for them ledge lakes. Caught a bunch of big fish on it. So you guys have made it to the giveaway portion of today's video. I'm going to be giving away this whole bag of tackle right here. Just a ton of different stuff. Fish head dudes, ton of different soft plastic swim baits, um, flukes. Look at that. Beavers. Just about anything you could think of. And also I threw the old pack of the shakedown shaky heads by kicking their bass baits. That's such a memory man back in the day that was fun but uh yeah if you guys want to enter this be sure to smash that subscribe button 
hit the notification bell right next to it, like this video, and then comment below some video ideas and what videos you have liked the best from watching my channel. Comment your favorite ones down below and what you wanna see more of. Stay tuned for the boat videos, guys. They are coming very soon, but let's hop back into the video. So much tackle, literally so much just tackle sitting around. I will never, that, th and you guys ask me like, Noah, why do you give away so much stuff? Because when I go out and buy stuff and give it away, it's for you guys. Like I really appreciate everyone supporting the channel. And like, as you guys can tell, I know there's a lot of people out there, a lot of people that would need to tackle way more than me. I'm, I'm super blessed to have all this tackle and it's honestly too much. If I could give anybody advice, just don't buy too much tackle. I have way too much. Something I really want to show. Everybody that says I only fish ponds, that's for you guys. How about you guys check out about 50 lake maps. Look at this. Look at this. We really gonna go there? Look at this. There's no only fish is ponds, right? Everybody judge my career off of three months of fishing because I don't own a boat at this moment. Or I do. It might be in that garage behind me. It's about to come soon. But these are a lot of the lakes that I've been to. Um, even, even some of the maps. Like, I don't even use maps anymore, to be fair with you. Like, these are for tournaments. Like, you know, you sit down the night before, you open an old map on the, on the freaking uh, hotel bedroom bed and you start picking out spots for the next day. There's Lake Lanier map right there. So this box is something that honestly means a lot to me, guys. This one goes back in time. And uh, this, is, this is really crazy. So as I said, a lot of you guys might not know, I've literally dedicated almost half my life to kicking their bass. Like I've put every ounce of everything into this. I've dropped everything for this, guys. I, I don't know if people really understand that, but this goes back years, years ago when I decided Hold on, hold on, we need a camera. When I decided to open the old kick in their bass bait, and this is years back, and, and this is something, you know, I did for a little bit, and it's gonna be really cool to show. Um, look at this, this is so funny. This is so funny, look at this. This is old school, man, the Whack'em Wobble. This goes back in time, the old kick in their bass baits years ago. These are all the cards to do the packaging with. Have my buddy, you know, um, doing all the molds and everything. As you guys can tell, there's some wobble heads right there. And these were a killer. This was something in my tournament fishing arsenal for years. This was something I had literally two rods on the deck of my boat. I'd have two wobble heads at all times. Um, we got some shaky heads right there. Obviously these are not packaged quite yet. We got some spoons. I was selling spoons at one point, as you guys can tell. Look at all the cards. So you got the Whack'em Wobble, and you got the Shakedown right here. All these cards, look at this. Packaging this stuff in the basement. Me and my mom used to sit down and put this stuff in little packets, and uh, she'd help me ship all this stuff out to all the supporters of the channel that were purchasing merch and, you know, baits online. Here we go. We actually got a little old school pack. This is what it looked like. So this is the Shakedown. Look at that, Green Pumpkin, 1 8 ounce, little shaky heads right there by kicking their bass baits. Unbelievable. Guys, this goes back. This goes back. A lot of you guys, like I said, people judge my career off of a couple months. I've been doing this almost my whole life, man. I've dedicated everything to it. I've tried just about anything and I'm so thankful for it to, you know, kind of take off this year and I can't thank you guys enough. And it's really a blessing. Um, and I, I'm just so thankful that I have all this stuff and that's why I ran a giveaway in this video. And um, you know, I've been running a ton of giveaways in prior videos because you know, I wanna give back to the community. My whole goal with Kicking Their Bass TV over these years, over the seven, eight years, was to get more people into fishing. You know, I feel like a bunch of people are like, no, I'm tired of the bank videos. Okay, you know, I'm getting a boat, it's on its way. <laughs> um, I feel like people miss the point when I go out and fish and go out and film. My whole purpose has been all these years is to get more people in the fishing. And uh, I know I know that a lot of people can't afford a boat and you know some people don't have a boat and I understand that. So I wanna be able to relate to those people and I do that type of content. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this $20,000 tackle reveal, tackle and box and people have been asking about it forever. I'm so thankful to have all this stuff even though I don't need it. That's why I'm giving some away. But thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to pound that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll catch you guys in the next video.
Now I'm done with all your shit All you wanted was my bread Got me messed up in the 